I'm Dr. Eric Martin. I am an equine field service clinician here at the University of Tennessee. Horses are kind of unique in that their teeth are very different than our teeth or our dogs and cats and things of that nature. So their teeth tend to erupt throughout their life after a certain time. As those teeth erupt, they will begin to form points. Those points can create discomfort and so Routinely, for thousands of years, we have floated horses' teeth, and that just basically means to level the arcade. As they age, horses literally run out of teeth. Um, with the advent of special feeds that have been developed by some of the feed manufacturers, they can now live without teeth. In order to um, just get a horse to open their mouth, uh, we want to go beyond just kind of pulling the tongue aside and taking a quick glance, so we'll use a mouth speculum, which is basically a large metal device that goes on the horse's teeth. They usually have rubber that contacts the incisors so it doesn't damage the teeth. And then we open their mouth up and then we can get a good look. And so what we do, um, and this can be done in the field, and veterinarians do it all the time now, is we sedate the horses, obviously. We try to clean their mouth out. We try to illuminate the oral cavity, because if you can appreciate, we've got a very large head with a relatively small hole. It's like a tunnel that you're trying to look in. And um, oftentimes we use reflective surfaces, mirrors, of course. And then here in the hospital and in the field, we have oral endoscopy, which just is a game changer. And so we can go in and look at the surface of the tooth. We can see if they have any evidence of problems inside the teeth, do they have fractures, do they have severe periodontal disease back in the back of the mouth, and so just being able to look in the mouth and see exactly what the problems are, that's, that's a big deal. If we determine that a problem impacts the comfort of that horse or the ability of that horse to eat and thrive, um, then we'll do something about that. And so when I'm on the farm and I do these um, oral endoscopes, uh, we, we have two or three screens and the owners can actually look at one of those and, and they're oftentimes amazed just A, that a horse has that many teeth. So sometimes it's very educational just for them to see what's in the mouth. From a student standpoint, the oral endoscopy lets them see. It helps us just to um, record uh, kind of in a permanent record exactly what we're seeing and then moving forward we can actually compare what we've seen initially with are we getting healing are we getting positive direction here with what we're doing or do we need to change course when we do annual health exams on horses sometimes the oral exam needs to be separate and owners are realizing that it takes a little bit longer to do a proper job. Because if you think about it, you don't go to your physician and go check my teeth, you go to the dentist. And it doesn't mean that pulling the tongue aside, taking a glance, hey, there looks like there's some problems there, but you don't know what you don't see. And so I think owners are beginning to appreciate that and their expectations are changing a little bit and we're trying to meet those expectations.